Starport is a useful tool that makes it easier to get started building Cosmos SDK-based blockchain applications. Let's build one right now. With Starport app, we can generate a directory structure. Let's call this project a blog. We can see that it has generated a blog directory for us. With Starport serve, we can start up the application. Serve installs dependencies, builds the applications, initializes the chain, and starts up the server. We can see that everything's running. We also have a user interface that was scaffolded for us. Right now it's empty because we haven't added any features. Let's fix this right now. With starport type, we can add different entities to our application. Let's say our blog needs posts. Uh, our post will have a title and a body. Let's start the application again. It rebuilds the application after it scaffolded files for us. Now we can see that we have a form for our blog post items. Let's check it out. We use the password that was generated for us to sign in. And now we can create posts. We have successfully created and broadcasted a transaction. Now let's say we want comments. We use starport type to add a comment. It will have a body and post ID. That's how easy it is to add types to starport application. Now let's take a look what starport has scaffolded for us. As we can see, it's a simple standard Cosmos SDK application with app.go, commands, X directory for modules. In our case, it's a blog module. It has generated handlers for our messages, post and comment, as well as types, client, keeper, and so on. It also created a simple web-based application that helps you to interface with your blockchain application. It uses Cosm.js to create a wallet, sign and broadcast transactions. This is a good starting point for your application. After scaffolding, you can run Starport Serve, make changes to your application, add types and other features.